It was so hot yesterday, I didn't even get my camera out. Oh, God, I did this though. Whoa, does that ever look good? Oh man, it looks amazing. I just used a roller, nothing fancy, no spray or anything. To get a really, you know, perfect shiny finish, I would need to spray it on there. But this is my kayak. I don't need it perfect. Um, so, yeah, I just sanded, trimmed the edges, sanded it. What are you doing, mister? And then trimmed all the edges around here while I was sweating like a pig. Oh my God, it was so hot yesterday. And then it rained overnight and everything cooled off. Feels so good right now, so good. So I did get one layer of wax on the inside of this. And if I get a few more layers of wax, I can, I can make a top. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. And then I can put a top on my, oh, oh my gosh. What color am I gonna make the top? What color do I make the top? No, I wanna make it different than blue. I got two separate pieces. I can make them different colors. What are those two new different colors? I don't know. I just waxed the molds, the top and the bottom mold. I think they're both ready to go. For whenever I'm ready to put powder glass on. And this guy, I'm going to put one more coat of paint, I think. I put two on yesterday. And then just now I wiped it down with a bit of sandpaper just to give me a little bits of stuff uh you know little specks or whatever in the paint the nice thing about a shape like this is i don't need a paintbrush i can get everything with a roller All right, I think that's done for the outside of this. I've waxed this three times today and once yesterday. That should be enough wax to demold the first piece. This I just waxed once since I, I, pulled the, I pulled that out of it. Because between each piece, I generally only wax a mold once. It's just before I do the first one, I, max, I wax the crap out of it. And then, you know, just top it up between with one layer. So, yeah, I guess this is ready to go, except I want to make sure all the wax is dry. Oh, I'm so excited to get this in the water and test it out. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to get in, and it's just going to tip right over. <laughs> oh, no, I think it'll be all right. Oh, I was so excited about this. I ran up here without my camera. And then I realized, oh, I better get my camera for this. Since I've shown the whole process of making it, and it's been rainy for the last few days, last three days, so I haven't been able to demold this piece. And it looks like it's separating pretty easily. That's good. Oh yeah, that's totally.
I think that's sanded enough for paint to stick. Gray. Gray. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing gray. They are the same kind of paint, so I presume I can mix them up. Esmalte, otherwise known as enamel. There. Oh, looks great. Also, painted the inside of this guy over here. It's kind of white and gray because the, the roller had gray on it and I just dumped some white in there. It doesn't really matter though. I didn't get up here, but that doesn't matter. That's, no one's ever going to see that. Yeah, except now they will. Oh, everyone's going to know that my kayak is not painted and on the inside there or there. Oh, I got to get back in the shade. Man, that is going to dry fast in this sun. There, I put a bit of uneven texture in this one too. Just because, I don't know, I felt like it. I had a blob of spilled paint here, so I just put the roller in there, then in there. So there's a little bit of white, not totally mixed in. There we go. There we go. Bacon in the sun. Oh, bacon. All right, what is the procedure for connecting that to that? I think I flipped this upside down, and then I put that on top of there. Alright, I think that's spreading the weight enough to not hurt the paint, hopefully. Get the end supported. You know, while I've got it like this, I may as well paint this part. Doesn't matter what color I paint it, no one will ever see there. Yeah, totally good enough. Like, literally no one will ever see this. Push this aside, get some silicone in there. The only place it doesn't fit really well is right here at the ends. And I knew that was going to happen because when I pulled this piece out of the mold, even before I pulled it out, this had shrunk in so it doesn't quite fit. But I can uh, stuff something up inside and just spread this out and take up these gaps. And then once I get the rivets in, that'll Hold it, it'll be fine. Oh, there's dirt on this. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. You know, I pulled that back out because I want to try something. I want to see what happens if I just start putting the rivets in. If I put the rivets in as I'm going, they may pull it out enough that by the time I get to the end, it'll all work out. So I'm gonna try that first. And you know, this is my kayak, so I can experiment on this one. If I screw it up, I can fix it. It's not a big deal. All right, we are just gonna go for it.
Oh, I need a little. This is where I really needed to start pulling. Oh yeah. Alright. I think that'll work out fine. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> Last one, that's it! I had a little bit of silicone left. Actually, I think there's still a little bit left. So I just ran around the whole seam one time real quick just to make sure there's no seal leaks and well, I'm done. I can, I can go play with it now. Now I gotta wait for it to dry. You stinky little buggy buggers. Oh, I'm excited. 